What's up everybody? It's your Thursday email update. I know you love these things. I'm going to make this one short. Um, had a good service last night. Appreciate you guys being a part of it. And um, somehow, some way, we came through with a pretty decent group going to encounter. Including leaders, we've got 33 going. And I think there might be a couple of stragglers on the fence that might put us up to, you know, 35, 36. Who knows? Maybe not. But um, I'm excited about that because at first I was thinking we were going to have like six going. Um, and uh, so I'm encouraged and uh, I appreciate you guys promoting it. I appreciate that you guys are going to it. Uh, I saw a lot of y'all sign up for it. I think it's going to be a great weekend. I think you're going to love the worship. I think you're going to love the, um, the, the entire event. And um, you know, this is just a great opportunity for you to see some of the things that we put together as a district for our teenagers. And uh, I hope this is a good one. Uh, sometimes they're hit and miss, but I'm hoping this is a really good one. Anyway, um, last night went well. Had some new kids out last night. Um, my question for you and my question I'm going to send out to all of our leaders, including my student leaders, is, is who talked to them? Who knew them? Um, because I know that I talked to them, but... Um, I saw them kind of sitting off by themselves and I'm wondering if anybody uh, was able to go sit by them or connect with them or get to know them. Um, three young men sat over on the right hand side um, of the auditorium there. Um, a couple of other new girls as well, I was glad to see them. Um, so just just some new faces I'm, I'm uh, happy about and some old faces that have been back. Uh, but there's still a lot to do, a lot to connect with and work on. Um, we're making visits. I'm working uh, more focusedly. Focusedly, that is not a word. We're working on uh, focusing on the girls a little bit more right now. Uh, me uh, trying to, to get with uh, Rachel and Jamie and Cece and Mary um, to try to get some of those girls back. And um, so we're doing that and we're going to do some visits this next week. Um, but you guys take the initiative and do that on your own as well. Um, and uh, connect with some of these kids that aren't involved. Um, what else do we need to talk about? Um, so we're talking about Encounter, that's next week. We're talking about um, the middle school ministry um, because it's important that we talk about it. Here's my thing. Last night, I um, asked the 7th and 8th graders to hang back so I could talk to them about a little idea that I had. And when I had them hang back, it woke me up to something. I don't know how many kids we had last night. We had a good group last night. I don't know the exact count, but it was probably really close to 50 or so. But you know how many 7th and 8th graders there were? Three. Taylor, Ryan, and Angel. And that says something to me. I don't know what it says yet, but I'm, I'm thinking it either says that these kids are intimidated or these parents don't let them come. It doesn't say, oh, all of them are busy or all of them go to church somewhere. That does not say that because there's no way you have 50 other kids or 47 other kids and three 7th and 8th graders. It says, here's what it says, in a couple of years when these kids graduate, our older kids graduate, it says our youth ministry is going to be like running 6 or 8 or something ridiculous. So I'm just being like uh, kind of upfront and honest that we have to focus um, on not only our girls, but we have to focus on our middle schoolers. Um, my idea is to maybe do some kind of a special event with just middle schoolers, um, either once a month or every week, I don't know, from six to seven, something to get our middle schoolers um, more connected and uh, more welcome. And if it's because of an intimidation factor, this would be a great opportunity um, for them to come out. But like I said, I don't know... Uh, what it is. I just I just need your help praying with that, praying about that. Um, anything else I need to talk about really important? Uh, I told you I'm going to keep it short, so I'm going to keep it short. Be a leader to your families before you're a leader to students, so do your family devotions. Uh, make sure your heart is right. Um, I can't think of anything. So if this email is short, I'll make the notes on it on the um, back end of the email. Just I'll handwrite it. But love you guys. Appreciate all you do. It matters what you do. What you do makes the difference. I've seen it so many times where when a leader drops out, the kids drop out. The kids aren't following me. They're looking to you. Uh, so make sure they're looking to a good role model and uh, live uh, Christ's life. All right. Thanks. Bye.